Let's go. Hey trash cans, it's Ashley. This is going to be a college week in my life vlog here at the University of Wisconsin-Madison. We're almost at the end of second semester, which is crazy. I have a busy week ahead of me and kind of an irregular schedule this week, but it's Monday morning right now. I'm getting ready to go to class. I have class at 7.45 a.m. on Mondays. It's not easy to make it there on time, but I always love being up and ready for the day. It's been a long time since I've picked up the camera just because I've been so behind on my vlog. My schoolwork this year is actually insane. I have like no free time ever to do anything and so YouTube gets pushed on the back burner. This is the first full week where it's like full spring mode here in Madison. Today the high is 70 but right now it's 50 so I'm wearing this little cropped sweatshirt from Aerie and some black little lemon leggings. My class today goes until 10 15 so it's kind of a long one. I'm gonna finish getting ready put on a little bit of makeup to cover all of this that's going on and then I'll head out for class. I'm back at my apartment now from class and I'm finishing up my cycling playlist right now. I teach rhythm ride in about an hour. This won't take me a full hour, but as soon as I'm done with this, I'm gonna start doing more schoolwork. Today's theme was requested by my friend Lauren. It's a boy band's theme, so I have Five Seconds of Summer, One Direction, Big Time Rush, Backstreet Boys, Jackson 5, all of them are in here. And it's gonna be a really, really fun class. I'm really excited. for cycling today is all aloe. I love this combination. It's not necessarily a set, but it does go really, really, really well together. The airlift bra and then the leggings that have the stripe all the way down the side. They're so cute. I always feel so confident when I wear this set and I'm not feeling very confident today. I'm not feeling like my best self. So I hope that this outfit will kind of get me out of that negative headspace. back from cycling. It was a really, really, really fun class. Shout out to my friend Lauren for suggesting that theme. It was so, so fun. I also met a couple of subscribers at the end of the class, so that was really cool. Since I went into cycling, the weather has only gotten nicer. It's now like 75 degrees and super, super sunny. So I changed back into the same crop sweatshirt that I wore earlier, but I just have athletic shorts on now. And now I'm heading out for a meeting. I'm doing a partnership with ThreadUp on campus and we're gonna host like a little event, but we're looking into collaborating with other groups on campus. So I'm meeting up with one of my former classmates who is on the exec board of a fashion club here. So we're gonna meet up today, get all the information, kind of figure out what we wanna do, and then I'll bring it to the ThreadUp team tomorrow and we'll try to make it happen. We're meeting at Fair Trade Coffee, which is kind of a walk for me, but it's so, so nice outside. I am not complaining. I'm looking forward to walking there. apartment now for my meeting. It went super super well. He had such great ideas and I'm really excited to bring them to the team tomorrow. He's also just like one of those people that just makes you want to do better and makes you want to follow your passions and I don't know I'm just feeling really really inspired right now after our meeting and after our conversation and I can't wait to use this energy to get some work done before I have work later today. This semester I got a new job at the NIC on top of my cycling duties but we have monthly meetings with our whole team and we have one of those tonight at 4 30. back at my 
my apartment from my work meeting. We're nearing the end of the year, so a lot of it was just recapping our projects and what we've accomplished so far. For dinner tonight, I'm having some pesto pasta with broccoli. And just like always, I have Food Network on the TV. I'm watching Tournament of Champions. The way it's only 6.45, but I am already doing my nighttime skincare. But I just really love to have all my skincare on and be like almost ready for bed like as soon as possible. It just feels so good to have a nice clean face after a long day. And now I don't have really anything on my agenda for the rest of the night. I just really need to keep doing my schoolwork so that I stay on top of everything. I've been turning things in late and behind like the past four or five weeks. There's just a lot for me to keep track of in my brain right now and none of my strategies for like getting things done on time are working. I just have a lot on my plate and I think I took on a little bit too much this semester. I'm not regretting it at all because this is also like probably the happiest I've been since I've been at college but this is gonna be the week where I officially get back on track and I'm gonna hold myself to that so I'm gonna stop rambling to the camera and instead go get some homework done. I've been doing homework for a couple hours now and I think it's time to call it a night. Hey trash cans, it's Ashley. Good morning. Just got home from my workout class and showered. It's a little bit before 8.30 right now. Just doing the last things to get ready. Typically, I have a class at 9 a.m. on Tuesdays, but my professor is away for like a conference or something this week. So we have these little like mini sessions we can go to instead. So it's synchronous, but it's also like not our typical class format. Today should be a chill but busy day. I have this Zoom class and then right after this class, I have another one. back in my apartment. I had my one class and then I went to slow food. Both were really good and chill today. We got out of class 15 minutes early because my professor wanted us to go celebrate how sunny and nice it is outside. But Jenny and I just went to slow food 15 minutes early and got a little bit more work done there than normal. So that was good. Now I have a call with ThreadUp. It's at 2 and it's like 1.55 right now. So I'm going to log on to my computer here. After we wrapped our meeting, I did a little bit more work. And now I'm going to go on a walk. It's such a nice day and walking is like one of my favorite things. I'm only going to stay out for like an hour because I still do have a lot of schoolwork to do, but I know that this little bit of movement will just make me that much more productive and able to focus once I get back. Here's the outfit. This shirt is actually from a two-piece set that I got at TJ Maxx. I'm wearing the classic Free People The Way Home shorts. These I actually got off of ThreadUp. I just 
had like the best walk. I don't know if it's just because I haven't walked in a long time that it just felt good to be back, but it was a really good walk today. I just put in my podcast, walked on the Lakeshore Path. I was out for about an hour. I came back home. I just showered. Gonna try to get a little bit more schoolwork done here today. I don't have anything else scheduled for the rest of the day until 7. I just wrapped up with my schoolwork. I ate some dinner and now I'm heading out to our aspiring educators meeting. We have a lot of guest speakers at Aspiring Ed and I have a couple friends on the exec board and they said that today's speaker should be quite interesting so I'm excited to go. back home for my meeting and already in my pajamas and ready for bed. It's around nine o'clock now. I have an early day tomorrow. I'm in my practicum, which is kind of like student teaching, but a little bit more low key and more just like observational. But I have to leave my house at 6.50 to make it there by the time that school starts. So I'm going to bed and I'll talk to you all in the morning. Cans, it's Ashley. It's Wednesday morning. I just woke up and got ready for the day. Did a little bit of makeup because in my practicum today I have an observation. So I'm teaching a lesson and my supervisor and my cooperating teacher are observing me. So I wanted to feel my best going into this kind of more stressful day at practicum. I changed the ankles so you could see better, but I'm wearing this cute little pink exercise dress from Abercrombie and Fitch. But I got it off of Thread Up and the back is so cute. But I'm gonna pack my bag and then my friend Megan will come and pick me up and we'll drive there together. I'm back in my apartment for my practicum. My observation went really, really well. I'm feeling super confident about it. It was more low key than I thought it was gonna be. A lot of the kids ended up being out sick today. So the group that I led ended up only being three people, which was good for me as I was getting observed to help me like not have as many kids to manage in the classroom. But my activity was one that kind of needed a lot of kid involvement. So it was a little bit more difficult in that sense, but all in all, I'm really pleased with how it went. And now I'm headed out to Slow Food. We're doing like a Mexican inspired meal today in collaboration with an organization on campus but I can't remember what their official title is and then as soon as we wrap up at slow food I have class I have class 145 to 3 and then after class I have work 330 to 5 
I'm back at my apartment after my couple of busy hours out. The meal at Slow Food today was a big hit. My friend Alicia and her boyfriend came, so it was nice to have some friendly faces out in the crowd of people who were eating. And we got really good feedback on the meal, so I'm feeling really good about that. And after Slow Food, I had class until 3. My professor decided to move class outside since it's such a nice day, and I'm really, really happy about that. I wasn't sure I'd get to spend any time outside today, so it was really nice to do class outside. And there's a really nice little seating area outside of the educational sciences building. So we just walked over there super close to where we were and all did class out there and it was really nice. After class I sat outside for just a couple more minutes to pass some time and then I went to work. I was there until five and once again it was really good. I love that job. It's super chill and I love what I get to do there. And now I'm back in my apartment. I'm having a quick little snack. There's this group of rep wall employees called SLRC. I don't know if it's SRLC or SLRC but it's like student recreation leadership council. Something along those lines. My supervisor in my job thought that I would be a good fit for it so I applied and today I have my like little presentation interview type thing and that's at six o'clock so I only have like 20 more minutes at home before I have to head out to the gym again. My plans for right now are to just chill and have like 20 minutes to myself. I think I might read my book. My friends and I started a book club and we're trying to meet next week or the week after and I'm only like 30 pages into the book so I definitely need to get some reading done. We're reading Lessons in Chemistry which I'm really excited about. I picked the book out this time around. Just made it back to my apartment from our cute little night at the terrace. After I chilled at home for a little bit, my friends and I went to the terrace to watch the sunset. It was so enjoyable. There were so many people out though. It was like so busy and crazy, but it was really fun to kind of just do something chill with them and end the night like that. Afterwards, we thought we would get some ice cream. So we went to chocolate shop. I knew what I wanted to order, but it wasn't like the flavor that I was expecting to be there because they started carrying vegan flavors now. So now I can go there and get some fun flavors. I was in line and I got up to the guy and then my friend Jenny was like, like, oh, actually they have other vegan flavors. And I was like, oh, what do they have? Like, and the guy that was like helping me goes, if you don't know your flavor, you need to get out and get back in line. And I was like, it was like the way that he said it to me that was just so rude and off-putting. It literally made me start crying. Like I literally started crying in the middle of this ice cream shop because of how rude this worker was to me. And like I understand there was a line out the door, like I would be really stressed out too, but like trigger warning for a sec. But sometimes it's still really hard for me to like convince myself to just like let myself have the little treats with my friends and like go out and be spontaneous. The whole time I was standing in line, I was like convincing myself that like it's okay to spontaneously get ice cream and like I'll be fine afterwards. And like nothing bad will happen to me. Then I get up there and I'm about to like do the scary thing and order and commit to it and then and he's just like so rude to me. I understand like the whole world is like short-staffed and overworked right now. For me as a person and for a lot of other people that I know out there struggle with this, that wasn't just a little thing to me. And now I'm like transported back to the days where little things like this would just make me spiral and just go down and down and dig myself deeper and deeper. And I'm a lot stronger now but that doesn't mean that it doesn't still like trip me up every once in a while. And with summer approaching, I've been really, really, really having to fight that voice in my head and really have to try hard to stick to my goals and to not fall back into like my old coping mechanisms. And that just like sent it over the edge for me today. And I ended up crying in the middle of the ice cream shop. And let me just also say that it's really scary for me to put like this out on the internet. I don't really talk to many people about my struggles in this aspect of my life and from what some of my viewers have told me me being real about things like this helps you're not alone i know this little comment probably would not affect people as much as it affected me but given like my history my past and everything like that just like it sets me over the edge and you never know what someone's going through or what someone has gone through so in all instances just be kind that being said i cried in the chocolate shop i turned around and walked out and didn't spend any of my money there so i'm gonna take off my makeup try to calm myself down maybe have a cup of tea and a melatonin and gummy or something. Tomorrow I don't have my practicum. I usually have practicum Wednesday, Thursday, Friday mornings, but tomorrow we have parent-teacher conferences, so I don't have to go in until 12 
30. All that goes to say that I get to work out in the morning, so I'm gonna wake up early and go to group strength tomorrow. I'm back in my apartment for my workout. I showered and got ready for the day. I'm feeling really like Little House on the Prairie vibes today. We have parent-teacher conferences in my practicum, so I wanted to wear a dress and kind of dress nicer and more modest and more dressed up. So I put on this like long pink maxi dress. Not my favorite style, but it works for like the occasion and the situation today. Now I'm sitting at my desk. I have about two hours here to get work done before I have to leave. I'm also gonna put a little makeup on my face. I still am like not loving my skin right now. I have these like dry red patches going on and I don't really know why and I'm like breaking out like all around my face but I think I'm gonna do a little bit of homework treat my makeup as like my halfway through my homework break and then keep doing more homework after that It's time for me to head out to parent-teacher conferences now, and I'm getting a little bit nervous. The first couple of conferences are for students that I don't have in my class, so I'll just get to sit back and watch and kind of see how they go. Everyone else in my practicum had to go at a normal time this morning, but since we had a half day and I'm in a 4K classroom, every time there's a half day, we don't have 4K. So I didn't have to go in this morning, but that means that I have to take the bus now over there. So it's gonna take me like 35, 40 minutes to get over there, which is annoying, but it was nice to have a chill morning, get my workout in, do a little bit of work. I'm back at my apartment from parent-teacher conferences. They actually were a lot more chill and low-key than I thought they were going to be. It was really cool to see like that other side of it too because you know as a teacher I'm gonna have to be doing my own parent-teacher conferences. So it was cool to see how like my CT organizes it and we did a couple through a translator which was really interesting. I just came home and I switched my outfit. I'm in shorts and a tank top and I'm heading to meet my friends at Vintage. We're gonna do a little patio moment before we have class later. We have class at 4.30 so we have about an hour here. I'm back home from class. I just took a super long shower. I call it like my everything shower, which I think is what people started calling it on TikTok at first. Shampoo, conditioner, shave, exfoliate, all the things. And I just did all of that and I'm feeling really nice and refreshed. We ended up getting out of my class 30 minutes early. So I'm completely done with my shower and it's only 7.10. Last year, it was like my Fridays were my night to like stay in, rest and recharge. And this semester, just with my classes and everything, it makes the most sense for me to do like my self-care night on Thursdays. So I've been carving out that time for myself. I might do a little bit of homework tonight just because I have a little bit extra energy But usually on Thursday nights I like don't do any homework and I just chill and relax because we all need a little bit of self-care like built into our week And for me having like one night just to myself is what works out best But I haven't eaten dinner yet. So I still have some slow food leftovers I'm gonna have that for dinner tonight This was one of the days where I just feel like really thankful for the situation that I'm in and for all of the things that have brought me to this point point. And I just love what I do I love my practicum not so much my classes at the moment But like I don't think anyone ever really enjoys their classes, but I love my friends I love all of the ways we're celebrating just the nice weather being outside doing things together And I'm just really feeling thankful and I think about how far I've come from this time last year Where I was feeling really down and sad and just lonely and alone now It's been like a complete 180 and I'm just really grateful I didn't want to end today without expressing my gratitude because I don't want to just only 
show the bad parts or only show the good parts. If you've seen my previous videos, you know I've been in low points with making friends and with finding my place here on campus. And now I feel like I've really found it. And I'm just feeling that especially more today, just because of how much time I spent with my friends today and how much time I spent doing what I love today. And now I get to spend the rest of the night just chilling, relaxing, being to myself. I have on some eye patches. I got these ones from Urban Outfitters. I think I got them on sale or for free or something. But they're so cute. They're little rainbows with stars on them. So I have these on right now and I'm watching a Mila Kunis movie. I thought it was going to be more lighthearted. I don't know why I thought that, but it's kind of really intense, but I'm loving it. I wanted something lighthearted, but now that I'm like sucked into this movie, I am loving it so much. The movie is called Luckiest Girl Alive on Netflix. Would definitely say trigger warning for a lot of different things. I have about an hour left in it and then as soon as it's done, I'm going to go to bed. Hey trash cans, it's Ashley. It's Friday morning and I'm up getting ready for the day. I have practicum this morning, so I again won't have that much footage. Today I'm wearing this exercise dress from Halara, switching it up from my pink one. It's a Friday, so you never really know if the kids are gonna be crazy and all over the place or if we're gonna have like a normal day. I wouldn't mind crazy and all over the place, but I know my CT is kind of like at the end of her rope with the week. Megan should be here to pick me up any minute now, so I'm gonna head out and I'll be at the school again today from 7.15 to 10.30. I'm back home from practicum. Today was a really, really good day in the classroom for me. The kids were chaotic today. They were loud. They were all over the place. Behavior was all over the place, but all in all, it was a good day today. I'm obviously back at my apartment. Just made myself a quick snack, apples and peanut butter. I've been loving putting granola on top of my peanut butter and like mixing it in and dipping my apples in that. As soon as I finish eating, I'm gonna go to the gym. I have a shift at my office job at the Nick today, one to 2.30. So I'm gonna go and get a quick workout in before my shift. I'm back at my apartment now from work. My workout was so, so good today. I don't know what it was, but I just felt like I could lift really heavy. And so I upped my weight today, which I'm really proud of. And work today went really well too. My day has been really, really good so far. And I have a bunch of fun plans tonight too, which I'm really excited about. But right now I have like 30-ish minutes to chill before I have to leave. I changed back into the same outfit I wore yesterday, just the black tank top and jean shorts. After I chill here for a little bit, I'm gonna meet up with my friend Riley. We're gonna go to canteen and get some appetizers appetizers and spend some time outside and tonight I'm going on a date so I have to be back in time for that. I also didn't even address this but my hair is a lot darker. I realized I didn't really like keeping up with my balayage and keeping up with my highlights and I also just didn't really like how it looked on me. I literally decided to dye my hair because I did a TikTok filter where it showed my hair like dark brown and I just loved it. This color is actually just slightly darker than my natural color. Let me know what you guys think. Do you like the lighter hair or the darker hair more? Hey trash cans, it's Ashley. Good morning, it is Saturday. Yesterday ended up being so, so crazy. I never even had time to update the vlog. Last time I talked to you guys, I think I was telling you about my night. So I ended up going out to Bel Air with Riley. But after Bel Air, I came home and then had to leave right away to go hang out with my boyfriend. Right when I was done hanging out with my boyfriend, I left to go out for the night. So I was like all over the place and was only home for like 15 minutes during that whole amount of time. But I ended up having like the best day yesterday 
yesterday. It was so nice to see Riley. I haven't seen her in so long, so we had a lot to catch up on. Last night was super fun. Our friend had a friend's band like performing, so we went to see them perform, and it was so, so fun, and they were super, super good. I was out pretty late last night. I didn't get home until like two in the morning, but it was super fun, and I'm really, really glad I went. And now I'm up again bright and early. It's 7 a.m. It's farmer's market time, and I cannot wait i'm gonna change back into the blue exercise dress that i wore for a bit yesterday i'm gonna get right here super quick and then we'll head out the door go to the farmer's market and then see where the rest of the day takes us the best morning ever. The farmer's market was so good. It was so, so, so busy, but we went early enough and I was able to get all of the things that I wanted. So I'm gonna do a little haul for you guys. We also went to Ancora and I got a Fruity Pebble Latte. It is amazing. This one was an impulse purchase. For some reason, my friends and I have like bears as like our friend group, like trope. Like our group chat name is about a bear. And Jenny and I saw this and I had to get it. They called it a BFF bear candle. Look at how cute that is. And then from the farmer's market, I also got some arugula. I've been really into making salads, especially with the weather getting nicer, but they didn't have that much produce at the farmer's market yet because it is still really early in the season. So I just picked up some arugula. These are one of my favorite things to get at the farmer's market. They're the vegan Twix bars from Paleo Mama Bakery. I throw them in the freezer because I like them better that way, but they are so delicious. She has a bunch of different vegan goods and then also has like keto and paleo and gluten-free, like basically things for every dietary restriction. And these are just so yummy. And she uses really like clean whole ingredients. And then of course, the thing we always go to the farmer's market for, the scones. I got two today. I got the matcha one, which is my fave. And then I also got a raspberry one, which looks so good. I'm really excited to have these. I'm back at my apartment now just for a quick second. We are going to go out to brunch now, me and all my friends. I ran into Gracie and Lauren leaving the farmer's market as Jenny and I got there. And we decided to all go to brunch together today. So I'm excited for that. They're already there just because they wrapped up the farmer's market earlier. I'm going to quickly change out of this outfit into a different one. And then I'm going to head out the door and we're going to go to brunch. This was not planned at all today. I planned it on just like having a chill day to do like homework and things after the farmer's market but sometimes you just gotta say yes and normally my weeks are not this like busy with friends and everything but it's so nice we're gonna take advantage of the nice weather go sit on a patio haven't been home all day today and I only have like 20 minutes at home right now so I haven't been vlogging that much today I've just been bouncing around with my friend we did a bunch of things today first we went to the farmer's market then we went to vintage and got brunch and then after that we laid out on the dock and tanned for a couple hours and now I just got back to my apartment I showered and changed so I apologize for the lack of vlogging today now I'm getting ready to go hang with my boyfriend so I'm not gonna vlog again tonight sorry like today's segment of the vlog is so short I have a lot of things to do tomorrow too we have an in-service and I have to work and I have a bunch of schoolwork that I have to get done so tomorrow I have like a busy day of just making up for the lack of time that I took today to do my schoolwork but that being said I'm gonna end this day's segment of the vlog here and I'll talk to you all in the morning hey trash cans <laughs> hey trash cans it's Ashley it's Friday morning at 9 30 and I've already gotten so much done this morning I've just been like running around doing things and completely forgot to vlog until just now I just took my loaf of sourdough out of the oven and as soon as I went to put it in I realized that I completely missed a whole step of proofing so this is not looking great it doesn't look as good as my first one but i made my own starter and everything and i've been loving making my own bread i'm just really upset that i forgot a whole step of proofing because this one's looking a little bit flat i decided for dinner tonight i'm gonna have some sushi so i'm cooking up some sushi rice and i'm gonna make my dinner right now i have work from one to four we have a cycling in service and then i teach at 5 30 so i'm trying to get as much done this morning as i can i also might throw a load of laundry in the washer
Here's the outfit for cycling. I'm wearing this white Lululemon sports bra and then these airy leggings, which I am obsessed with. I love them so much. We have an in-service today, which is kind of like continued training. back in my apartment from our in-service. Of course, today we did a bunch of high intensity intervals and now I'm like exhausted and still have to teach later. I came home to have a snack to kind of replenish my energy and I just finished making my cycling playlist for my class tomorrow. I'm gonna do a summer smash lineup theme. I have about 10 more minutes now before I have to head back out to the gym. I just got home from cycling. I took a shower, washed my hair. My cycling class today was not my favorite. I just felt super low energy and there weren't that many people there. And I find it's like kind of hard for me to like get into it when there aren't as many people. So it wasn't my most favorite class, but I'm sure if any of you are fitness instructors out there, you relate. Some classes are just better than others, but as long as you give it your all, try your best, try to bring the energy, that's, that's all you can really do. But I've also just kind of like been overthinking my classes a lot recently. It's just hard because you look out into the people that you're leading and they all look like they're dying because they're you know working out hard and stuff you never look out and see like everyone smiling faces so it's just kind of hard and different to adjust to it's like a different type of public speaking because of like the response you get from the audience i'm gonna leave it in the past it wasn't my favorite class i'll move on tomorrow will be better because i'm gonna get a really 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 good night's sleep tonight right now though i'm sitting in front of the couch i'm gonna have some dinner i'm having my sweet potato sushi roll and some edamame I'm gonna turn on Food Network like I always do and sit back and relax and enjoy. I finished eating dinner. I did homework for about 30 minutes and now I'm going to bed. So I'm gonna end the vlog here. Thank you all so much for watching. If you like this video, be sure to give it a like and to subscribe. All my other social medias are linked down below should you be interested. And I'll see you in my next video. Peace out. So sad.